Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use Substack's updated subscriber dashboard. Let's get started. Our new subscriber dashboard is located in the same place as the old one. If you go to your dashboard, you'll find the subscribers page right at the top in between posts and stats as it always is. The top of this dashboard and the graph that you see also looks the same. It shows you the number of your total email list as well as your paid subscribers. What we've introduced though is some more powerful tools for understanding your subscriber base down here where you see the mailing list. At the top left, it shows you that total number that is displayed and by default, it's going to give you a list of every single one of your subscribers, along with some basic information, such as their subscription type, um, a star rating of their activity, when they signed up, things like that. But these things are all customizable. The columns that you see can be changed depending on what you're interested in. To do that, you can go to the top where it says columns. Click on it, and you'll see a variety of properties about each subscriber. You can adjust these to see what you're most interested in. For example, I might want to see the free signup source or the websites that people were directed to signing up from, and maybe I don't care that much about when the subscription expires. And maybe I don't care about revenue either. Well, given the updated columns, I click out and I see that it's given me the data that I'm interested in. Each column can also be sorted. So for example, I might be interested in knowing who my most engaged readers are, that is, who might be opening my emails the most number of times over the last 30 days. To do that, I'll mouse over to the email opens column and click it. This is going to sort it in descending order. At the top, I'll have the people who open my email the, the most times, and I can now see that, and maybe I want to know who these people are. But a lot of the times, you also might not want to engage your whole mailing list. That's where the filter comes in handy. So up here, you can see filter. And what this filter allows you to do is to only display a subset of your total mailing list. I might be interested, for example, in showing only free subscribers. And not only that, I want to see free subscribers who are good candidates for becoming paid subscribers. That is, people who are really reading this a lot. So I'll add a filter that says email opens over the last 30 days is greater than 10. And this is only going to show me my free subscribers who are emailing my, who are opening my emails over 10 times. I click apply and it's returning me 87 results. So this time we have a much more manageable list and it's also one that you can interact with. One common thing that you may want to do is to email the subset of your subscribers. To select this group, you want to click the topmost checkbox. By default, it'll only select 50 that are displayed, but I want all 87. Then at the top right, you can click the blue button that says email. This will produce a new page that looks a lot like when you start writing a new Substack post. However, this post or email will only go out to the subset of subscribers that you previously selected. And in this one, I might say, um, have you considered subscribing to my publication? And in the email, because I'm trying to engage these people, I'll say, thanks so much for, uh, for signing up and reading my newsletter. Have you considered subscribing? Thanks for your support. And I'll just throw in a subscribe button. Then you can send that email or you can just leave it as a draft where it will live all among your other posts. And if you want, you can also view the email recipients to remind yourself which people that this email would go out to. I'll return to the dashboard though. The last thing that I want to show is how to export the list of your subscribers. Um, we still have the same group of people and maybe I want to download a CSV containing all of this data. I'll click export at the top and it'll ask me who I want it for. I want it for the 87 members that are shown. And I actually want all the columns, not just the ones that are displayed. So I'll say all columns. Click export. And now we have a button that says download last export. I'll click it and it'll automatically download a CSV file to my computer, which I can open and have for my reference or to do further analysis on. Hope you enjoy using this dashboard and thank you so much.